Multipurpose vehicles MPVs like the Toyota Alphard have been directed to use the bus lanes at tourist checkpoint instead of the lanes for cars. The passengers have to alight to clear immigration before they can get into their MPVs to continue their journeys. This is a process similar to the one for buses and passenger vans crossing the checkpoint. News first surfaced on various Facebook groups for travellers between Singapore and Malaysia on January 2. When asked the next day, the Immigration and Checkpoints Authority ICA confirmed that a trial is underway and a statement will be issued. A message shared on WhatsApp chat groups for limousine drivers said that certain MPVs must use bus lanes for immigration clearance at tours. Examples of models cited were the Hyundai Starex, Hyundai Steria, Maxus, Toyota Alphard and Toyota Velfire. These are large MPVs with seating for six or more passengers. The Straits Times has asked ICA to verify the car models affected and details of the trial, including the purpose, duration and whether the requirement is limited to tours checkpoint or if Woodlands checkpoint would be included. While the Toyota-branded MPV models are common in Singapore and Malaysia, the other brands and models listed tend to be Malaysian-registered vehicles. Mr. Lester Young, 47, hired an MPV with a driver in July 2023 to take some friends for a nature hike in Kuantan, Pahang, which is about five hours' drive from Singapore. The manager of a company that deals in lorries said he heard about the new clearing process for MPVs on January 2. He welcomed the arrangement as it means that MPVs do not have to be caught in the long queue for cars to clear immigration. Limousine driver Andy Ong, 54, expects that diverting some traffic to the bus lanes at tourist checkpoint should help to ease the traffic congestion for cars to clear immigration. Although he wondered if that would cause congestion in the bus lanes. Mr. Glenn Wee, 45, an IT consultant, drove to Legoland, Malaysia, in Johor, using his Toyota Velfire in December 2023. The father of three boys, aged between 3 and 13, said that if he were to do the drive again, he would avoid tourist checkpoint so as not to have the hassle of getting his children out of the vehicle to clear immigration. I would also wait until the rules are clear for everyone instead of joining in the confusion, he added. The land borders between Singapore and Malaysia are among the busiest in the world. The ICA said that from December 15 to December 17, 2023, there were close to 435,000 crossings daily, exceeding the number in the same period in 2019 by nearly 30,000. In its statement issued on December 19, ahead of the Christmas and New Year's Day long weekends, ICA said it was expecting very heavy traffic at the land checkpoints until the end of 2023 and that those clearing immigration by car might have to wait for up to three hours. ICA advised motorists to check the traffic situation at the crossings through platforms like the Land Transport Authority's One Motoring website or through ICA's Facebook and local radio broadcasts before starting their journeys.